In this question, we have a sample space that involves all of the integers from 3 to 14. Then we have an event F with all the integers 7 to 12, an event G with all the integers from 11 to 14. Assume that each outcome, so let's see, I believe we've got 12 outcomes. 14 minus 3 is 11, should be one more than that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, we want to find the probability of F or G. And we've got the integers 11 and 12 in common. So we have two options. Either we're going to, let's see here. Use a Venn diagram to show that we have the 11 and 12 here. We've got our 12. Then what else? We have 7 to 12 in F. We've already accounted for 11 and 12. So over here in F, we'll put that on the left. Then things that are in F without being into the intersection, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Things in G that are only in G and not in the intersection. G was integers from 11 to 14. And we already have the 11 and 12. So solely in G will be 13 and 14. Furthermore, the sample space and a whole bunch to start. We've only picked up at seven when the sample space started at three. So we'll have outside of these circles. We're gonna have three, four, five, and six completely outside of there. Now total, we have, because or is inclusive for our union, we have a total of four here, two here, and the two here, a total of eight out of the 12, So first of all, they were asking for what is the union F or G before we find the probability. Okay, so that was without any repetition. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. There's our eight. And so we should have a probability of eight out of 12 which reduces to two thirds, 0 0.0667. Before I enter that in though, I wanna show you one more option. It mentioned using the general addition rule. So what we would have done there would have been to add the probability of E to the probability of F, but since the intersection is included in both of those, subtract it off once to avoid the double counting that way instead of the Venn diagram approach. And if we look back at our Venn diagram here for a moment, We had four of our 12 in, well, six of our 12 in all of F. Four of our 12 in all of G. And then two of our 12 in the intersection. 
And so, that also would have us looking at 8 over 12, dividing top and bottom by 4 to get 2 thirds, and that decimal then of 0 0.0667. I think they wanted three places. Let's double check that. Yes, so to the thousands of places. So I just did the Venn diagram. And then I just used the general addition rule in what I was writing under the document camera. So that was um, 6 twelfths plus 4 twelfths minus 2 twelfths. Let's see here. Three decimal places. 6 twelfths is 0. 0.5. 4 twelfths, that's one third. So 0.333. And then 2 twelfths. It's going to reduce to one six and we should get the same answer. <laughs>